Pythagoras' theorem is a theorem that helps us work out the sides of a right angle triangle. So the triangle has to have a right angle in one corner. That's 90 degrees. And three sides because it's a triangle. What we do is we can use this rule, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, to work out one of the sides if we know two other sides. In this video, I'll be looking at why it works. To do that, I'm going to use the idea or the concept that area for a rectangle is equal to length by width. But before we do that, we need to label the sides. So the longest side is called the hypotenuse. And in the equation, it's going to be C. It's by itself over here on the other on one side of the equal sign. It's the longest side, and it's opposite the right angle. So the longest side opposite the right angle is always going to be C. The two other sides are A and B. It doesn't matter which one is A and which one is B. I'm going to label it this way. Because some students have trouble with using letters in algebra, to make it a bit easier, I'm going to use do some examples just using numbers to start off with, or an example using numbers. So I'm going to say that this is 3 metres, this is 4 metres, and this side is 5 metres. So I've made myself a triangle with sides of 3, 4 and 5. So now I've extended my triangle, which is in the middle, here's the triangle, and made some squares using the sides of the triangle. This square at the top has sides of 5, so all the sides are 5. This one at the bottom has sides of 4, and the one on the left has sides of 3. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out the area of those sides. So let's have a look at what area means and how you would work out the area. So, now using area equals length by width, you will be able to see that in this rectangle at the top, the area is 5 times 5, which is 25 metres squared. The area for this one at the bottom here is 16 metres squared. The area for this square over here is 9 metres squared, 3 times 3. Now let's just have a look at the squares that make up the area. In this square here, there are nine of them. Each of these is a square metre. In this one, 16, each being a square metre. And in this, rect uh, this square, there are 25 squares, 25 square metres. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these squares here and colour in the same squares on this one. So here's the squares coloured in. I've coloured in for these nine squares, nine squares. You can see that this shape that's left is actually 16 squares. What that means is that these squares here fit into here. What this shows is that the area of this big square here, which is based on the 5 from the hypotenuse, is actually equal to the area of this square plus the area of that square. Another way of writing that is to say 5 squared equals 3 squared plus 4 squared, which is 25, equals 9 plus 16. And you can see that's true because 9 plus 16 is indeed 25. So the area of this big square is equal to the area of this square plus the area of that square. Now while I've used 3, 4 and 5 for my triangle, and this is a right angle triangle that you can find, a 3, 4, 5 triangle, this will work for any right angle triangle. Any triangle that has a right angle in the corner 
I can do the same thing with the area of the two smaller sides and make them fit into the area of the larger size, the hypotenuse. So in maths, when this happens, we generalize and write a formula. So going back to our original triangle, if I do the squares for this triangle, like I did for the 3, 4, 5 triangle, the area of this one is going to be c by c, c squared. The area of this square will be b squared, b times b, and the area of this will be a squared, a times a. And a squared plus b squared has to equal c squared. And that's where this rule, Pythagoras' theorem, comes from. By using areas for the rectangle for the squares on the sides on the sides of the triangle. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared is a rule that works for any triangle with a right angle in it. So here's another way of looking at it. If I can make a triangle with th sides of 3, 4 and 5, 3, 4 and 5, which both of these triangles are, it means that this angle in the corner must be a right angle. And the ancient Egyptians used to use knotted ropes like this to work out a right angle because they didn't have protractors.